Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. I've had a fantastic start to the morning because you may see on a later video or a previous video, not sure on the chronological order of these things going live on the internet, but indeed you will see we have yet again been graced by the gifts from the country of Ireland. Oh yes, I was very excited about that. If you want to see what we got, tune in to the other video wherever it may exist. Why don't you go to the channel and have a look there. And also we talked about briefly uh, this Doro 8035 which is a smartphone marketed to the over 65s and for people who aren't tech savvy which is the category that the old queen fits firmly into. So we picked this up for her to enable her to be connected. Now she's kind of ticking on a little bit on the uh, on the birthdays so we're going to pull this out of the box we're going to have a look what we've got and uh, we're going to put it on charge for her so we can set the whole thing up and take it round to her later on so I'm not going to do a review on this phone or anything like that I just thought because I'd opened the uh, unboxing video for the Irish stuff that Aidan Fiona sent I should at least mention it on this vlog so that's what I'm going to do because this is what is making up quite a large part of my day and you guys are here to see indeed what I'm up to every day so first things first we'll get out our charger and we will stick this phone on charge so when we take it round to the old gal's hoose then it's going to be fully charged and ready to go for her to figure out how to use it. Aha, one charging port. I think she may struggle the most with the mini micro USB fitting more than anything else. Right, anyway, that's that. We'll leave that on charge for a while. Now I'm gonna go into the pub because I want to put some speakers up in there and show you what we did earlier on in the week. Alright, so we're in the brew shed and looking across here on this back se section where we've got the POS and everything else, we have a desktop computer up there, look, and what we normally use is that speaker up there which has a volume control on it and that speaker there and the reason that they're there is because we don't have any wall mounts for them and of course they're just running off the audio output from the PC so we kind of just put you know internet radio on, royalty free radio, YouTube playlists that kind of stuff so what I want to do is take those um, speakers and I would like to relocate that first one somewhere else, somewhere accessible but somewhere a little bit away from the till area so um, people can actually hear the customers speak when they're ordering stuff. I really wish they wouldn't do that as well with the bloody mats. They're never going to dry rolled up, are they? Yeah, and then the other one I'd like to put, I don't know, maybe up in this corner or maybe around here to put some music in the back end of the brew shed, maybe, or even maybe downstairs. We shall see down there where Chance is hiding. Come on, boy. Here he comes, look. So yeah, that's the plan. And then also, a couple of things that we did the other day, which I wanted to show you. We finally got our awards up on the wall. They've just been sat on top of the fridge for a while. So now you can see, yeah, literally since we opened, these are the awards, six of them, that the pub have picked up, has picked up. And then I was also sent uh, all this artwork. I think I've shown it on the vlogs before, but it took us a while to get it framed and on the wall, but that's up now. So these are pictures of the fermenters that were made or drawn for me um, by a, I only know his Instagram handle and it's Tortec Info, I believe. See if I can leave a link down below if you want to go and follow him. So uh, 
yeah, he draws robots and they are pretty, pretty good if you ask me. So we've got some more of them as well over here and there's one that's actually A5 so we don't have an A5 frame but we've got these little beauties on the wall down here, a couple more the same and then this one is definitely our favourite that is Retford's Market Square and Town Hall let's get a good shot with no glare on it and uh, you see there we've got our fermenter in front of Retford's War Memorial in the centre with the town hall in the background. Doesn't it look lovely? Anyway, there's just a few of the things that we uh, put up this week in our right chance. So what I'm gonna do now is start to run some cables for the speakers to where I'd like to hook speakers up. And then hopefully, if it works, we'll be able to put maybe another four speakers in here or a total of four speakers and have audio around the pub instead of just at the bar. Right, I had started on the speaker fittings, but I've been waiting for some connectors to come from a company, some John Guest connectors, and today they've arrived. So the idea behind this is we're changing out some of the pipe work at the back of these keg lines to install some 316th restrictor to slow down fobbing on some of the kegs. So here's my 316th. Here's the fittings to convert it from the 3 8 in down to 3 16 And then the back of these taps are 5 16 So we've also got these little fittings which are 5 16 to 3 16 stems. So uh, there's less prattling about with bits of pipe. We can just convert them across. So this is the first one, which is the scrumpy wash cider, which usually comes out relatively foamy. So let's just have a look how well it's done. So you just air the line. Well, we'll have a look. I'll have to put the camera down to test it. It didn't look too much slower, but I'm not sure how it was pulling before. So I'll put the camera down and we'll, well, well let's do pour a pint. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's the air from changing the connector across. So as soon as we know that we've got the right length of line in the back, we've only got around 12 inches there. So we might have to change that out to a little bit more. But we'll see. That looks relatively controlled. Well, that's not bad at all. And then the proof of the pudding will be in the top up, won't it? Whether it uh, agitates that head even more and causes all the gas to come out of solution. Does it seem slower? I mean, I know I slowed it down with that little bit of wire cable over there. Oh, that wasn't bad. I think it's all right. What do you reckon? Maybe a couple more inches, slow it down a touch more. Mm -hmm. And then we've... Uh, we're probably at the sweet spot with that. So I've got 16 lines, well no, 14 lines to change out on the back of here then. And then we'll get back to the speakers. So there we have it. One. Don't forget you got two five. Focus, you bitch. Two. And then the third one. I'll go down here and turn it down. The third one, if you can hear me is there and they all work perfectly so now we have music everywhere we don't have to listen to Sam singing his karaoke nice what a relief well you are pretty good though to be honest yeah. I particularly love your Gloria Gaynor rendition I like the RA speedway can't fight this feeling anymore <laughs> can't fight this feeling anymore Hey, I'll get a uh, copyright strike if you sing it, mate, because you're that close to the original. Yeah, I mean, you know, the leaves have to go quite high with it. <laughs> right, that's work in the brew shed done for today. I'm going to get the, uh, the mobile phone that we've got for the old queen. Get it all packed up into this box. Should really tidy this side. It looks a right mess now, all these crisps are on here. But 
they'll be devoured very very quickly <laughs> so yeah anyway let's get this phone taken around to the old queen's house get her set up and then i'll be going home after that so cheers for tuning in folks and we'll see you on the next vlog <laughs>